Hey everybody, it's Mark Edward Lewis from Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be doing another plugin showing you how to use it in post, like we do in post audio in Adobe Audition. Today it's going to be delays and echoes. Let's jump in. This is Adobe Audition, and if you've never opened or used Adobe Audition, please go to our cinemasound.com website and look at the Adobe Audition 123 product. It takes you from I've never used it to I'm getting great results and using it just fine. So here is one clip, just a piece of dialogue here in the timeline. Let's take a listen. My first reaction, let me just say this. I was really glad we were drinking. Me too. And so we want to add delay, like let's say she's in some kind of a canyon or a big arena or something like this. We can add any plugin to a clip in Adobe Audition by making sure that we have it selected and going up here to effects and delay and echo, and there they are, or by going to clip effects here, making sure again it's selected, which it is, and doing the same thing here in the effects track. But we want to add this to the entire track. Everything on this track gets the same plugin like we do in post. So we'll go track effects and we're gonna look at first the analog delay. The analog delay is mono. Even if you put a stereo signal to it, it makes it very mono, just like the good old days. Check out, let's put this into a loop. My first reaction, let me just say this. I was really glad we were drinking. My first reaction. And we have various kinds of tape emulation, tape, tube tape and analog and that really doesn't matter much unless you get over here to trash i know a cool thing called trash if i bring this all the way up it makes it nice and grungy my, my first, first reaction, reaction let me just let me say, say this. this and not in the dry not in the original sound but in the delay so let's turn the dry off my, my first, first reaction, reaction let me just here's tape tube my first reaction let me just here's analog my first reaction let me just say this. Pretty cool. So we bring the dry back. My first, first reaction. reaction. Let me Let just me say, say this. this. Sounds like a bad speaker system in an arena in mono. So let's just go over these really quickly. As I've already demonstrated, you have the various kinds of tape emulation, tube emulation, or just straight distortion from a good old analog processor. How much of the original signal do you want versus the delay? And then how much of the wet, how much of that delay out do we want? My first, first reaction. reaction. Let me let's just say this. Oh, let's put it. It was really, really bad. Dry back drinking. on. My first, first reaction. Pretty, pretty easy to understand. This is the delay itself in milliseconds. We're listening to it at 200 milliseconds. Let's drive it quicker. My first reaction. Let me just say this. Now it sort of, sort of sounds like early reflection, just like in a small reflective room. My first reaction. Let me just say this. Which is a really good way to create an ambience without having to mess with the processor consumption of a, of a big reverb. And then way out to eight seconds, which I won't bore you with, but it, uh, even uh, one second is a big deal. My first reaction. My first reaction. Let me just say this. Let me just Pretty say cool. this. Pretty cool. Feedback is how many times will it repeat? 20% out to a really big deal. So if we put this over here at the short setting and make feedback 100%, you get feedback just like in the good old days. My first reaction. Let me just say this. I was really glad we were drinking. That's hundreds and hundreds of small little delays all in a row, and we can make them really, really short. My first reaction, let me just say this. I was really glad we were drinking. It's starting to sound like something very familiar, like Transformers. And we have a whole video on how to do this using HVerb as well in Adobe Audition to make Transformer sounds. And then with the trash, of course, we talked about that. And then spread, if you did happen to have a stereo signal, this will help you get out of the mono mode. Let's go and do the next one, which is cool. Uh, so this is just straight delay. This is a back and forth thing with no feedback at all. So you just get one repeat. And, but what's nice about it is you can control left and right channels independently. My, My first, first reaction. reaction. Let, me Let me just say, say this. A nice stereo delay. The left side being delayed 120 milliseconds and the right 180. My, My first, first reaction. reaction. And if we turn the mix all the way up to all wet. My first reaction. What you're getting is actually the delay only and none of the dry signal. If we make these the same, we'll drop back into mono mode again. Let's make it 50-50 wet. My, My first, first reaction. reaction. The, the, the delay itself is actually mono. My first reaction. And as soon as we change one of these one millisecond later. My first reaction. We got a really cool, crazy, uh, not very mono compatible, but awesome sound. Um, and then you can tell it, hey, do I want this in milliseconds? Do I want it in beats or do I want it in samples? The one that I really want to show you, the one we use all the time in post, is the echo really look at how much fun this thing is 
So we have a lot of the same uh, parameters. We've got the delay time in milliseconds on the left and then the same on the right. Feedback, how many times does it repeat? And then echo level, it's another way of saying the wet signal of the delay. Then over here, we actually have a very nice, easygoing graphic equalization for the delay itself. Let's check this out. My first reaction, let me just... We're going to turn the echo all the way up. My first reaction, let me just say this. Now we can really boost that low frequency of the delay. My first... Wow, that's really, really loud. Or the high frequency is the same. Maybe we won't kill ourselves this time. My first reaction, let me just say this. Pretty cool, right? Now the feedback is really, really way too long, too many times. My first reaction, let me just say this. I was really glad we were drinking. Pretty cool, right? Let's bring this back to some sense of normalcy. And then um, what's cool about this one is that you can lock the left and right so that it's dead in dead the same. So right now we're 348.8 milliseconds and 232.6 milliseconds if I lock them. Then it locks it to the left. My first reaction. Back to mono if you want. Or from there, it's a nice easy way to start and then build you know, a new setting from there. In fact, let's make this 145. My first reaction. So you're going to hear it on the left much earlier uh, because it's happening earlier. Now, what's great about this plugin and the only one in here that does what we would call ping pong bouncing is that the delay happens and it's, let's say it happens on the left and then it'll go right and then left and then right and that's when you hit the echo bounce my first reaction in fact if we took if we take echo level off for the right channel you'll if without echo bounce on you'll only hear the delay in the left my first reaction let me just say this but if i hit echo bounce my first reaction let me just say this. You'll hear it ping ponging. And then if we bring echo level back up for both. My first reaction. Let me just say this. It's a really nice, complicated, complex kind of uh, reverb or uh, echo rather delay is what the technical term would be. Now, if you were in an arena, you can actually design how you want the arena to affect the sound itself with this EQ. Now, let's say this is probably a really long delay for a reverb, unless you're in like, you know, the Coliseum or some nonsense, but let's call it this. My first reaction, let me just say this. Maybe a little more feedback. I was really glad we were drinking. Cool. Now, we can make the uh, arena, so to speak, darker with a little more low frequency. My first reaction, let me just say this. So that the sibilants aren't getting in our way. My first reaction, let me just say this. Which is pretty nice. Or we could have it that it was all concrete or glass, for goodness sake. My first reaction, let me just say this. And let those sibilants come through. So this uh, Echo plugin and all the Echo plugins and delay plugins in Adobe Audition are super useful, that we use them all the time in post. And if you have any questions, definitely let us know. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and any and all of our hundreds of videos here on the Cinema Sound channel. If so, please. Uh, subscribe to this channel and we hope you'll visit us at cinemasound.com. Until then, we'll see you in post.